The measure explicitly forbids content that endangers national security, leaks state secrets, subverts state power, and undermines national unity. They actually have a department called the Cyberspace Administration of China. China has now implemented new internet censorship rules. China internet rules call for algorithms that recommend positive content. It wants automated systems to echo state policies. This is all from, they actually have a department called the Cyber, Cyberspace Administration of China. That's where all of this stuff is centralized out of. We don't have anything like that in the U.S. The Cyberspace Administration of China has published upcoming rules that dictate how internet companies manage content, including a push for recommendation algorithms that promote positive ideas, i.e. that are in line with government policies, uh, while excluding bad material. The measure explicitly forbids content that endangers national security, leaks state secrets, subverts state power, and undermines national unity. In other words, internet companies can't challenge the political status quo. Um, they're due to take effect on March 1st. What's interesting with this is at what level of company do you have to be, right? How big of a company do you have to be um, for you to really be on the radar? You know, it doesn't really explicitly. Uh, delineate oh if you're a billion dollar company do you have to abide by these things and what if you're a 10 million dollar company you know could you be hauled away for violating these things i don't know in the united states when when you have a lot of this regulation it really actually helps the incumbents it helps so in china's case a 10 cent um an alibaba a baidu because they can comply with these rules they can use machine learning and all these algorithms that the wall street journal article is talking about they can actually have that infrastructure to be much more robust than the up-and-coming tech startups that now have to divert resources away from say growth or new features and focus it on complying with government regulation so that'll be interesting um i'm sure it's only if you are you know, of a of a considerable size that the Chinese government would focus on this, at least initially. But we actually saw this hurt a lot of in 2019, a lot of the Chinese tech monopoly companies, particularly like Tencent, where they where we covered this, where they had a lot of um, different tech and media businesses that they owned, which had trouble making regulators happy. They had to invest a lot of money to try and build the infrastructure to comply with these rules and their stock price took a pretty big hit as a result because there's a lot of fear about what regulators would impose fines or actually shut you down. Uh, and so it actually weighed on a lot of the stock prices of the Chinese tech platform companies that have a media arm of some sort, which just about all of them pretty much do to some degree or another. It'll be interesting to see if these rules create a whole new swath of that stuff or if this is just kind of formalizing what everyone knew they had to do anyway, China, you know, the, the Chinese government had placed these teams of people inside these tech companies. Um, so I don't know if there's that much additional stuff the large tech monopolies in China need to now do extra, uh, or if this is more just formalizing things that they had already been told to do otherwise. Hi, this is Alex from Winner Take All. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the content. Feel free to leave a comment, ask us questions, and definitely make sure to join us on our next live stream.